Across a world we live, in cities and villages, all part of a greater whole, but we are not alone. They come in herds, hives and swarms, tribes, packs and pairs, living in nature, members of society. In every continent except Antarctica, primates populate the tropics. Primates are a diverse group of highly intelligent mammals, over 440 species in all, most being arboreal, with large brains and keen eyesight. They range in size from the mouse lemur at less than an ounce in weight, to the eastern gorilla weighing 450 pounds. Primates can be divided into two groups, wet-nosed primates, such as lemurs, and dry-nosed primates, including a diverse group known as the simians. Further divided into the New World monkeys of Central and Middle America, and Old World monkeys and apes existing across Africa and Asia, humans having evolved directly from them. Our closest still living relative being the chimpanzee, a genus of great apes. They can be found in Central and Western Africa, distinct for their long, powerful arms used both for climbing trees and knuckle walking, their highly expressive faces and significantly developed intellect many being widely known for advanced tool usage, even deliberately refining stone tools for hunting. They can be divided into two distinct species on either side of the Congo River, the common chimpanzee and the bonobo. The common chimpanzee being notable for its larger, more robust body, typically lighter though changing face color and dark lips with the bonobo being smaller, slimmer, featuring a dark face with brighter lips and longer limbs. Also differing significantly in behavior. The common chimpanzee being broadly omnivorous and more aggressive, feeding on anything from birds and eggs to larger animals such as warthogs and antelopes, even other primates. While the bonobos are exclusively herbivorous and passive, feeding almost entirely on fruits, supplementing their diet only occasionally with leaves and shoots. Males of common chimpanzees being somewhat larger than the female, standing up to four feet tall, weighing as much as 200 pounds. Females being on average 10 to 20 percent smaller. While bonobo males and females are of nearly equal size, at a three and a half feet tall, weighing 75 to 130 pounds. Their differences also extending to social structure. Both species are highly social and exist in larger, permanent communities of up to 150 individuals, also known as the parent group, though most commonly between 20 to 40 individuals. Exhibiting a definitive social hierarchy, often featuring an alpha individual dominant enough to control other members of the community of a lower rank. In common, chimpanzees being an older, mature male, primarily responsible for hunting or foraging and protecting the community, asserting their dominance through aggression and violent displays, challenging other males to ritualized combat. While with bonobos, it's usually an older female, the mother of the strongest male or the most males in the community. The younger females may also have separate hierarchy structure that is partially inheritable though the hierarchy may frequently shift with changing allegiances and social circles as a response to social interactions, relying on highly complex personal relationships between individuals. Low-ranking males known to frequently shift social circles in order to increase instability of the community at large in an attempt to destabilize the alpha, gaining further access to the females. The alpha subsequently often asserting their dominance violently in fear of being overthrown, the community comes together in a fixed territory overnight, nesting in the trees high above ground, protecting them from predators. While during the day the shems divide into smaller groups or troops for foraging and hunting as with all male troops, or shared nursing groups as with all female troops, as well as mixed sex groups for social grooming and strengthening the bond. Though the common chimpanzee may also be temporarily divided into male-centric hunting troops, 
using complex tactics and fixed roles in the hunt. As such, they have a wide variety of communications, including complex vocalizations and body language, employing both hand signals and intricate facial expressions, bearing teeth, grinning, pouting and sneering not unlike humans, also using a variety of hoots and shrieks and screams to express excitement or anger, softer cooing and grunting to indicate submission or affection, often crudely laughing when amused, some even attempting to mimic human speech. Common chimps may also often be strongly defensive of their territory, known to kill chimps from other communities who trespass onto their territory, while bonobos more commonly use sexuality as a form of conflict management, often using intercourse to form social bonds and resolve issues. Mating season for chimps may occur at nearly any time of the year, though the number of females in estrus varies seasonally, dependent on access to food, with both males and females mating with as many partners as possible, although the alpha of the common chimpanzee is often highly defensive of the more desirable females of the community, retaining mating rights for himself, and occasionally even practicing infanticide against the young of other males. Mating is either preceded by only minimal courtship or none at all, mostly based on mutual acquaintance through social grooming, the mating act itself being brief and repeated until conception occurs, and, as with bonobos, continuing throughout the pregnancy as a part of social bonding. Chimpanzee pregnancy typically lasts eight months with a single live young, featuring interbirth intervals of between four to six years. The mother is the primary caregiver of the young, the newborn clinging tightly to the mother's body for the first year, on the stomach for the first two months, and later also clinging to their back for traveling. At two years of age, they are able to move and sit full independently, moving further away from the mother at three years of age. At four to six years, they are fully weaned and enter a juvenile period lasting until their ninth year during which time they remain close to their mother while still interacting socially with the rest of the community, eventually either integrating with the community as an independent member as with the common chimp males and most bonobos, or leaving the community in search for another community to join as with many common chimp females, ensuring the genetic diversity as they then enter maturity and begin to seek a mate at around 8 to 10 years of age. Lifespans of chimpanzees are typically around 30 to 40 years in the wild, male lifespans of the common chimpanzee being significantly shorter than those of the females due to their lifestyle. Many male chimps killed by chimps from other communities or even chimps within their own community. While their young are occasionally targeted by large predators such as leopards, mortality rates remain low due to their safety in numbers. Gorillas, another of the great apes, it roams the jungles and mountains of Central Africa, found mainly around the Congo River and its tributaries, in mountain forests and swamps, as well as lowland bamboo forests and rainforests alike. Gorillas evolved seven million years ago from a common ancestor of all apes, dividing into two species, the Western Gorilla and the Eastern Gorilla, Western Gorillas being lighter in color, brown or gray with a yellow tinted forehead, while Eastern Gorillas are typically larger with a broader chest and longer face, black or blue in color. Both are divided into lowland and mountainous subspecies, lowland gorillas being distinct by their slender and more agile body while mountain gorillas tend to be bulkier and more powerfully built, they are the largest primates on earth. Mature males, or silverbacks, becoming as tall as 6 feet, weighing up to 550 pounds, while females tend to be only half as large as their male counterparts. Due to their massive size, adult gorillas are also the only apes that remain mainly terrestrial, only rarely climbing trees, walking on their knuckles when quadruped in a distinct stride, or occasionally as bipeds when carrying objects or for intimidation. Being herbivorous, gorillas feed almost exclusively on foliage such as leaves and stems. 
though a small percentage of their diet may consist of fruits and various insects. Lowland gorillas having seasonally diverse diets, necessitating constant foraging to maintain a consistent nutritional intake, traveling further and further every day, while mountainous gorillas have smaller, more fixed ranges, spending much of their day feeding and constructing temporary nesting sites on the ground all around their territory, using branches and leaves for both the daytime and night use. Gorillas live in small groups known as troops, commonly made up of one mature adult male or silverback and multiple females and their combined offspring, usually less than a dozen individuals. Only a few troops having been recorded as having multiple mature males. A male develops the characteristic silver-colored fur on his back as well as unusually large canine teeth at 12 years of age, signaling maturity and dominance. Along with superior size, coming far larger than younger males or even adult females, the silverback makes all the decisions and leads the troop through foraging and migration, as well as dealing with infighting and defending the entire troop from predators, occasionally recruiting one of the younger males as a secondary line of defense, known as blackbacks, being between 8 to 12 years old and lacking the silverback hair. The silverback spending a considerable time bonding with the females of the troops, maintaining only weak social bonds with other males, consisting mainly of strict dominance, hierarchies, and competitive displays. While social relationships between females may vary wildly, maternally related females commonly being close, while distantly related females may be outright aggressive. Social interactions between gorillas are thus highly complex and consists of both specific vocalizations, body language, and social grooming having between 25 to 30 different vocalizations alongside body language and displays. Grunts and barks are used when traveling to indicate the whereabouts of individual group members, but may also be used for disciplinary purposes. Screams and roars are used as warning calls most often by the silverbacks, with deep belches being most common within the group, used to indicate contentment during feeding and resting periods. While during conflict, gorillas have a ritualized charge display to intimidate others, consisting of hooting, standing bipedally, throwing and tearing vegetation, chest beating, running sideways and beating the ground to indicate aggression and assertions of dominance. Though actual fights are rare, especially in stable groups led by an experienced silverback, gorillas also able to laugh as well as grieve, displaying rich emotional inner lives as well as a high intellect, having been shown to use simple tools and even weapons when necessary. Mating may occur at any time of the year, whenever the females are fertile, typically once a month. Though outward ovulation signs are subtle, females will instead approach the silverback first, drawing his attention by reaching out and slapping the ground, making eye contact and pursing her lips to signal her intent. After which, the silverback will grunt repeatedly to reciprocate before mounting her, Mating is repeated until conception occurs, as the silverbacks commonly has exclusive mating rights, rendering gorillas polygynous, though in the rarefied troops with multiple mature males, females may mate with multiple males. A gestation period then follows of eight months, with an interbirth interval of four years. The females give birth to a single young, or in rare cases, twins who remain attached to her and for the first five months of their lives, either clinging to her back or hanging in her arms, as they are born small and defenseless, entirely dependent on their mother. The young gorillas nursing constantly day and night to gain weight, sleep beside their mother in the same nest, the female herself remaining close to the silverback for protection from predators. Though the silverback takes no direct part in raising their young, they have been shown to be highly defensive of them and frequently introduce them to the other members of the troop. At five months of age, the young gorillas start venturing away from the mother, exploring their surroundings and socializing with the other young through play and social grooming, moving further and further to develop independence and beginning to eat solid foods. At three years of age, they have waned entirely and grown to juvenile size and begun nesting separately from their mother and collecting food on their own. Female gorillas then reach maturity at only 10 to 12 years of age, while males may take as long as 11 to 13 years, at which point mature males growing the first signs of a silverback will depart from the troop to form their own, 
while females may choose to join another troop or remain, depending on the size of the troop. Though adult gorillas have no natural enemies due to their size and social structure, young gorillas may often be targets for the predation of large cats, such as leopards, that have even been known to occasionally be able to take down a full-grown female. Once adult and fully integrated into a troop, mortality rates drop sharply. Most gorillas are leading relatively long lives, up to 40 years of age in the wild. The orangutan, another great ape. It is distinct in appearance for its long arms, reddish-brown fur and a large size with males significantly larger than females, often weighing twice as much. Found today only in Indonesia and Malaysia, it evolved 14 million years ago from the same common ancestor as the gibbons. Orangutans can be divided into two species depending on the island they inhabit. The Bornean orangutan and the Sumatran orangutan. Found only deep in tropical rainforests and swamps, in both mountainous and lowland areas, they spend nearly their entire lives in the trees, feeding, resting and traveling by climbing from tree to tree, avoiding predators on the ground such as tigers, leopards and crocodiles. They are also known to be exceptionally intelligent tool users, using primitive tools to gather food as well as construct nests, their diet consisting mainly of fruits, but also leaves, shoots, bark, insects and honey, even bird eggs. Using their highly developed hands and feet to manipulate sticks and stones to reach inside trees for insects or to crack open fruits. Even sharpening cutting tools to cut through hard shells and tree trunks. As well as using their high intellect and good memory to recall fruits of particular trees having regrown recently and social trading, even able to exhibit a complex reciprocity between individuals, tracking the value and importance of gifts over time and reciprocating gestures. Orangutans feed mainly in the early morning, resting during midday and traveling through the late afternoon, before constructing a new nest by tying together branches using vines to form a leafy bed high above ground, even creating makeshift pillows and blankets with tied together leaves and foliage. Living mostly solitary lifestyles, most orangutans only rarely meet, being either transient, as with juveniles and sub-adults, or with clearly defined home ranges, as with mature adults. Ranges which they may defend with force from other orangutans. Most home ranges of rival males being far apart, while the ranges of many females may be included within the home range of a male, who is their main mating partner. Despite this, they are known to be highly communicative, being generally characterized as solitary but social, using a variety of calls and body language to communicate with other orangutans. Body language including play fighting and patting, as well as limited social grooming and posturing. Even complex facial expressions and glances to convey meaning, which may be used both to strengthen social bonds as well as indicate dominance or aggression. Though the primary form of communication comes through sound, vocalization is ranging from rolling calls used for intimidation and for defense of their territory, kiss squeaks sucking in air through pursed lips to signal annoyance, blowing raspberries to signal playfulness, hoots with juveniles and infants when distressed, and long calls to attract a mate. Mature or flanged males may be highly distinct for their large throat pouch, used to greatly amplify their mating calls, able to be heard for miles around, as well as their thick cheek pads, used to make it appear larger and more threatening to other males. Most interactions between males being hostile, resulting in violent confrontations and displays of dominance. While interactions between adult females may range from friendly to strict avoidance, depending on their familiarity with each other, the only significant social bonds occurring between the female and their offspring. Mating may occur once the female enters the fertile period of a menstruation cycle once a month, though mainly it occurs during or after high fruit season once a year when the female has consumed enough to sustain her through childbearing. After being impregnated, the female also have an eight-year interval between births wherein her cycle is interrupted. 
leading the female to focus all her attention on her young, while infanticide is very rare, unusual for primates, as the females won't be receptive to mating after the death of her young for some time. Mating is effectively initialized by the male, though it is often highly dependent on the willingness of the female. Flanged males typically attract females in their characteristic loud, long calls, taken as a general sign of interest in any approaching female. The female then seeks out the male and exchange courteous greetings. Mating soon occurring with minimal courtship, being brief and repeated over several days. Following mating, resident males may form a consortship with a female lasting weeks or even months, but will eventually leave as the gestation period continues for the following nine months. Unflanged males, or males who have matured but not yet developed a throat pouch or cheek pads, may instead wander around seeking a female and force themselves upon her. As females generally prefer to mate with flanked males and will seek their company for protection from unflanked males whenever possible. Males, both flanked and unflanked, having little to no part in raising their young, while the female spends considerable time caring and socializing for her offspring. A single birth is most common, though twins have been known to occur, the infant orangutan immediately clinging to its mother for protection and entirely dependent on her for the first two years of its life and is entirely dependent on her for the first two years of its life. Staying in constant physical contact with its mother, clinging to its back or stomach. As it is small and defenseless, and unable to eat solid foods until then. Being primary targets for medium-sized predators such as clouded leopards and wild dogs. after which the young orangutan will begin to learn how to climb trees and branches and how to gather fruits and other food, though it remains close to its mother until weaning at four years of age. Often holding hands while climbing through trees, often an older offspring will assist in raising the infant and help it learn to climb and forage for food. Adolescent orangutans will then begin to socialize with other orangutans in the vicinity, mainly other juveniles of similar age only moving away from their mother to find their own home range when nearing maturity at 7 to 10 years of age for females, 15 years for males, with an average lifespan of over 30 years in the wild. Orangutans, like gorillas and chimpanzees, along with monkeys and lemurs and humans alike, are all primates, whether predators or prey, high in the treetops, or living among the grass. There are essential components in their ecosystem, whether in large communities, smaller troops, or all alone. They're all part of an animal society.